I had heard stories about snapping turtles, people losing toes, ducklings being swallowed whole, and one kid told me his uncle stepped on one and it, quote, took his foot foot clean clean off. off. They're the closest thing that central Pennsylvania has to great white sharks. So when a guy named Rolf, or Juliana and I, were making a film about turtles, he said, I want to set the record straight about snappers. I want to show you that they're actually gentle creatures that are simply misunderstood. And he wanted to show me how to save a snapper from being hit in the road, using my bare hands. In this field right here, when the corn was down, I sat next to a female snapper and watched her lay all her eggs. I sat right next to her. She deposited all her eggs, um, covered the nest up, and walked back to this pond. And in the fall, I watched the babies emerge. It was absolutely awesome. Rolf is a self-proclaimed snapping turtle expert. I think I see one right now. Now that turtle's moving deeper, so he or she saw us. He also has an uncanny resemblance to Will Ferrell, which made the 6 a.m. snapping turtle hunt all the more surreal. Is, is it in this a beautiful pond? I think calling this area a pond is a bit generous. It's more of a sludge hole covered with about a foot of water. I can't get my leg up. I can't get my leg up. As Rolf made his way towards the snapping turtle, he started to sink in the sludge that was beneath the pond. Minutes passed, and we could see him sinking deeper and deeper. Let's try the old Indian trick. Release the suction. Rolf was determined. This really isn't, this really is not a big one. All right. There's your common snapper. (laughs) She's probably, I gotta get in shape. She's probably maybe 10, 12 years old, I'm just guessing. They got a lot bigger than this. Easy, easy, easy there, fella. Calm down. You're all right. Nobody's gonna hurt you. And can you smell that musky scent? The snappers will release the musk. Okay, would you, would anybody like to hold her? Okay. I I think I'll film. (laughs) I think I need to get a little bit more. I'll watch you for a little bit more. Okay. (laughs) Boy, is he, he's a hothead. Have you ever gotten bitten? No. And I heard it really hurts. What you have to do is be very careful because you can see they're lightning fast with that strike. And those mouth parts, are, the mandibles are extremely sharp. You could see that Rolf really cared about snapping turtles. The only time these turtles are in trouble is when they're young. Nothing's really gonna mess with them except a, a human being. That, that, that's, that's their greatest enemy. Every year, thousands of turtles are killed in the road and Rolf wanted to show us how to save a few of them. If a snapper's crossing the road, you want to get a snapper off the road, you can pick them up. And here's how you do it. Hold the back of their their shell down. Keep keep away from the the head. Grab the tail at the base, lift it up, slide your hand under the plastron like this, and take the turtle across the road. You can safely move a snapping turtle. She cannot reach down there and bite my hand. I think Rolf is right. They are misunderstood creatures. They're kind of like shotguns. If you don't have experience with them, you probably shouldn't play with them.